Hey everyone, it's Marina. I'm here to do a project share with you. This is my design team project share for Genitive Designs Stack the Pages. And so I actually did two of them and I did, she encourages you to do something, uh, you know, think outside the box. So that's what I try to do with this one. Uh, this one I followed some of her directions and what she did and this one I just, I just put everything away and um, did what I wanted to do. So um, I, I don't know, it just, it helps for me. Like if I have directions in front of me, I feel like really like I have to follow the directions. <laughs> so for this one, I just put them away and, uh, did my own thing. And I actually did my own thing with this one in a way too. So, um, my theme, if you haven't guessed, is Alice in Wonderland. And I used, I actually did something really neat. I haven't done this before, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you ladies have done this before. Okay. So... I actually went through this ordeal with um, Marion Smith's uh, Mad Tea Party Paper Collection. I wanted it so bad. So I kind of uh, waited for a while and I sent messages and nobody really got back to me. And then Marion Smith was on Periscope and I asked her, I asked her if she had any available and she, if we could purchase any because the line was retired. And she said, yeah, there's some in warehouse. All you have to do is make a custom order and we'll get it shipped out to you. So. I made a custom order and I kept reminding everybody that I had spoken with Marion on Periscope and she said that it was still available. So I was going through this ordeal for about, oh goodness, I'm going to say three months. It took me three months before I got my paper. Uh, I don't know what happened. They said that one week they said that, well it took them about a month to get the paper out of the warehouse. Then the second month they were telling me that they had it together and then by the end of the second month I was like, okay. Uh, I was like, you know, sending them, I saved all of my information and kept sending it to them that, you know, proof of that I made this order. I had already paid for it. So I was like, why is it not here yet? I don't understand why you haven't shipped it out. I haven't received any confirmation, blah, blah, blah. So they were like, oh, we'll double your order. I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> so I was like, okay, fine. I'm gonna calm down and waited for a couple more weeks. And then I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to the head of the department. And I, I messaged Garrett and no joke next day, my I had confirmation that my order had been sent out so I have I had bought two of them I didn't have enough of the time to buy more or I would have and the idea of cutting up this paper because it's the last I mean it's not there's not that much of it left so I was just like I can't do it plus it's retired so I definitely couldn't do it so what I did was I scanned them into my computer the paper I, I scanned them into the computer and then um I printed them on one side of the paper. Uh, I used cardstock and I printed it on one side and then I flipped it over and printed another print on the other side. So everything was double sided. It was really awesome. It turned out so awesome. I'm super happy with it. So I don't have to feel. And this is probably something I'm going to be doing in the future because I, I hate the idea. I would rather use ink than not have the paper that I have. So that's a tip for you guys if you want to. Um, if you can't stand the idea of cutting up this paper that you have because you love it so much scan it into your computer if you can do that and just print it out and it's fun because you can choose which side comes out where and, and like okay so the sheet of paper that you have is double-sided but um you know they're just the, the same image, images you can switch it up you can switch what image is on what side so what pattern is on what on what side so it's really cool anyway i gotta apologize about my blue hands I was using Marion Smith's, uh, oh gosh, her color lab kit, and I haven't used it for a while because I wanted to make some potions because I, I was using these for, uh, I was going to use these for Halloween, which I did use a couple for Halloween, but um, I saw this label and I was like, this needs to go on a bottle, and I ended up having a bottle, perfect size, and so I went into my color lab and I haven't touched it in forever, so the color I need is, I don't, this is like really really weird because the only color I need, I have tons of colors, tons of pigments and, and all that. So the one color I need for this has sol solidified into this little ball. So I was just like, oh my gosh, what happened? Like, I, I don't know what happened. So I was like, I'll just cut it up with my scissors because I, I don't have a, a way to crush it up and put it back into powder. So I just cut it up with my scissors. Pieces are flying everywhere. It was a bad idea because let me tell you, this stuff reacts to water. So I was as I'm just holding this thing and cutting it up, my fingers are turning super blue. And I was like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
it was everywhere. It's all over my desk. I'm afraid to mop the floor because it's just gonna turn blue. My sink is blue. It's just blue everywhere. So, but I made one of the potions. So <laughs> I managed to pull it off. I can't manage to pull it off. So, um, and I made another little potion with a, a smaller bottle. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what I made. Sorry for all the jibber jabbering. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. And let's see. Okay, so I just put some trim here. And then I think this is actually a piece to sorry, but I thought it looked like a pawn from chess, so I put that on here too. Um, I put a little charm. It says we're all mad here. And then it says imagination is the only weapon against this against the war. Oh, sorry, in the war against reality. So I just cut up a lot of stuff, in, or not a lot of stuff, I put some stuff on here. Um, here is a Tim Holtz key that I glued on here. I got these flowers from Michael's. They were on sale during Christmas and perfect. I liked how they were all frosty looking so I put those on here. Um, some Wild Orchid Crafts flowers. Uh, some of them I glimmer misted. And then just a key, key hole down here. And an uh, arrow. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside, and I have, I don't want to, there we go, just have some cutouts in there, and I'll have the link to her tutorials in the description box below, but I have something in here have a little piece of extra paper in there. I have, um, no, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. There's a tag and I put a mat on it. Okay. And these are from Oh Snap and they are these, um, I guess just clear pouches or whatever. So I, I thought that'd be fun to use these in here. Then here is a journal splatter, uh, but a mat. And it comes with tons and tons of envelopes and all kinds of stuff. You know, it's really funny how much Marion Smith I used for this these, this project. I used a tons of Marion Smith. So, um, here's another pocket and a tag I cut out. I layered some of the cutouts. And here's a cutout as well. It flips open. And this is from Marion Smith's hybrid uh album that's yeah, a hybrid album i made before and i'll put the link for that in the description below but basically the whole album is made from envelopes and um you just print them off and it's awesome so i actually uh had that as one of my um prizes for a giveaway so here's another one and all these come out there's a little slit at the top and they come right out And here's a belly band. And tag inside. It's really awesome how she set this up because for me, I was thinking when, when I saw, when I started doing this and I saw what she had done, I was thinking that it reminded me a lot of Kathy Orda's um, My Design Mini album. But when you do the My, My Design Mini, there is so much you gotta do for that. It's like a mini album, massive amounts of cardstock and massive amounts of tape. And when I put this together, I was like, wow, this kind of feels like similar. It feels similar, but it's different in the way that uh, it's easier. <laughs> and all I did was print out uh, what I wanted to print out on the designer paper. I printed it on cardstock. So I didn't have to use tons of tape. Most of the tape that I used was just for the spine and that's it. So. I love the look of it. I love how it feels and there's so much room and space like if you don't want to have the giant My Design Mini album um, and you want something small that you can just have in your hand and you know use as you want then this is perfect for that. And it's cool also because she has all of her um, like if you're cutting out from your designs from your sorry if you're cutting out your pages you know measuring them down so you can put them in the printer and 
you have those leftover pieces that you aren't using, she actually designs her album so that she, you can still use those. So there's a photo mat there. And then just, I, uh, I put this on here. It says, uh, the rule is jam tomorrow and jam yesterday, but never jam today. And these ones right here are the six by four in which, you know, it works fine. It's just, um, I had to glue down or because it comes with a sticky back. So I sealed the sticky back against the actual, this part. And then I put my own strip of tape on the back. So that way it fit. Otherwise it would be hanging down just a little bit. So. This part I left blank. And here I made a little flip open spot. And it's got a photo mat. And over here is a journal spot and another photo mat or journal mat. Here's an envelope and it's Dress Alice cut out. And I actually did something really fun with that on the other journal or the other mini album. And there's a pocket back here. There you go. And that's the back. So that's this one. I'll go ahead and show you the next one. Okay, so on this one, I've added some charms. It's got a domino, it's got a key, um, the bunny's head, and um, spades and the hearts. And then here I've uh, put, made a tag and I mod podged it and then I just um, added an eyelet. So it's on there. I tied some seam binding and some um, ugh, eyelash yarn. And I just glued this on here. So um, so for this one, I've added, um, ooh, what's it called? You guys know what this stuff is, right? I can't think of the name right now. It's just lots of little dried up bits of stuff and there's little mushroom things over here it's just stuff that grows in the forest and all that so um i glued down i glued down some um time some time type stuff and i sprayed uh i glimmer misted some of the white flowers some gears keyhole and a clasp closure and i lost a little piece of that over here So over here is a pocket and the tag in there. I actually need to put some, uh, sorry, silk or seam binding on that one. And then there's a little mat right here and then for the mat and pocket with little extra bits from of ephemera. And in here is a little flip area. belly band and she's got some tags and ephemera in there and then here is a three stacked ephemera placement so there's um three of them here and they all come out i'm gonna take them all out though a tag here and here's some more ephemera and this flips open and there's one of the little mini envelopes which I love and a journal spot another photo mat and I made the photo mat so that the image that's used can be tucked under here another photo mat some ephemera from the hybrid album and then here is just a little mat and saying and of course a part that comes out and it's got the caterpillar and Alice talking. Love the caterpillar. Of course uh, Cheshire is my favorite. And that closes and then there's some more <laughs> ephemera in here. 
and I've mat done some matting and tag and then another tag. And then here is one of the envelopes from the hybrid album. And I've just added a photo mat. And in here is a journal spot, which I may just add this in here, size it down and add it in there. Not sure yet. And I'm actually planning to make a journal uh, Alice in Wonderland journal. I already have everything cut out and dyed, so I need to do that and put it together. And so this is one of the fun things that I made. So it's an envelope, and on the back side it's got Alice there. And from all the little uh, dress Alice pieces, I added some Velcro. And then you can just dress Alice. How cute is that? And so there's like a few outfits in here. I think there's four or five. Super adorable. Okay. All right. So that's in here. Let me see if there's, yep, there's another outfit in there. So that's what's in here. And that is the album. And that's the back. So I will have the links below to, um, Genevieve's Etsy as uh, sorry Genevieve Designs Etsy as well as her um, her tutorials for these so I hope I had provided some inspiration for you guys and just some ideas of what you could do with it um, I absolutely love the wraparound closures this was my last one and I've actually had this patina piece for a while and I was just like okay what am I gonna use this on and then finally perfect perfect so um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will be, I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye.